Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 4.03 p.m. Alexa, can you tell me a comic relief joke? To support comic relief, I've got some jokes from some of the UK's best love celebs. Here's a joke from Sean Walsh. Why can't you trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Like they make up atoms, and literally everything's made of atoms. No. no, next one. Thanks, Sean. Want another joke? Yes, please. Okay. Here's a joke from Vicky Patterson. A snake walks into a bar. The bartender says, how do you do that? Oof. How about another joke? Yes. Okay. Here's a joke from Jay Blades. The other night, I thought I wrote The Hobbit. I must have been talking in my sleep. Would you like another joke? No. Okay. To get involved with Red Nose Day, or to buy a red nose, search Comic Relief on Amazon. Right, guys, I've calmed down since early this afternoon. Um, I did go out and take Max for a walk in my Wellingtons, thick trousers, thick coat, and my beanie hat on, because it's cold outside. The reason I'm actually dressed like this is because I've just got out of the shower. Um, I've got an appointment at the hospital tomorrow, so I've had a shower the day before. So I've washed my hair, it's wet, and I've had a shower because I'm due to go to the hospital tomorrow for a scan. And I've had a shower. I could have had a shower tomorrow morning, but I probably won't feel like it and I've got to go in the afternoon. Now, the hospital, Dr. Habib's secretary at the gynaecology department at the Medway Maritime Hospital told me that there would be a taxi to come and pick me up outside where, Alexa, where am I located? You're at 7 Cloys Road, flat 5, Fix Apartments in Rochester. Kent. So that is where a taxi is going to pick me up tomorrow. Well, it should do. Outside my flat. Okay, to take me, Crystal, up to the hospital to the gynaecology department. Where women go, women go for gynaecological problems. Right, on to another subject. I'm going to read you uh, my Tesco shopping list. Dated the 2nd of February 2023. Uh, the delivery slot was between 11 and 3. So I had stuff for my fridge. Two Tesco Scotch eggs. Tesco mashed potato. Tesco British semi-skimmed milk, 4 pints. Tesco raspberries. Yuzu vanilla milk. Yuzu chilled chocolate flavour milkshake times two. Eastman's cooked beef slices. Eastman's chicken roll slices. Eastman's pork and egg roll five slices. Rustler's all day breakfast sausage muffin. Rustler's southern fried chicken burger. Eastman's corned beef slices. Rustler's cheeseburger. For the freezer. Chicago Town Deep Dish Pepperoni Pizzas times two. Cupboard. Baked beans in tomato sauce, small cans, three. Mr. Kipling Country Slices. Tesco Ginger Nut Biscuits, Tesco Shortcake Biscuits. Auntie's Ginger Syrup, syrup Steamed Puddings, Tesco Cheese and Onion Crisps. Tesco Luxury so Soft Toilet Tissue, four. Warburton's Toasty White Small Bread, Auntie Strawberry Puddings, Tesco Lightweight Cat Litter, Two Bags, Tesco Cream of Chicken Soup, KP The Skips Prawn Cocktail Crisps, Alpen Strawberry with Yogurt Cereal Bar, Walker's Prawn Cocktail Crisps, Tesco Fig Roll Biscuits, 
Warburton's White Slice Sandwich Roll 6 Pack Tesco Plain Balloons 5 Colours 10 Pack Nestle Pure Life Water 12 Bottles of 500 Millilitres Bath Essentials Double Sided Nail Brush Bath Essentials Face Cloth Flannel Tesco Microwave Pillow Rice Tesco Small Bananas Colgate Sensi Foam Multi Toothpaste, Alberto Balsam tree, Tea Tree Conditioner, Kenko 3 in 1 Coffee, Sponge Scourers 8 Pack, Toilet Tissues, Nescafe Original 2 in 1 Sachets, 2 boxes of those, Quaker Golden Syrup por Porridge Sachet, Tesco Senior Chicken and Veg Dry Cat Food 2 Kilograms, Tesco Ready to Serve Custard. Tesco original washing up liquid. I didn't get fairy because my mum had given me a bottle of fairy. Tesco Elmhurst natural mineral steel water 12 bottles of 500 mils. Spring Force toilet tissue. McVitie's Hobnobs chalky flapjacks and Costa creamy cappuccino coffee times six. Okay. So even if I haven't got much money in my bank account at the moment, I've got food to last until Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. I've also put money on the electricity meter, so that's not going to get cut off in the near future because I keep an eye on that. And you know what? That shitty British gas app, it's shitty. It's absolutely shitty. I'm trying to log into it and I'm finding it difficult to log into. The part, whole point of that app for me is to go into the app and see what my electricity meter is on so I can top it up. For the past six weeks it's been 0, 0.00. So I have to keep going into the electric meter cupboard and smart meters set my pain off. They do. It's a smart meter. It's been changed to the smart meter, you see. So it's, it starts making my jaw hurt when I go in that cupboard. And obviously the gas and the electric are going so fast, I have to keep checking once a day to see what my electric's on. And it was on £13 this morning, and I've topped it up, and I don't know how that long that's going to last. But I had a smart meter at Lansdowne Court and it fucked my head inside of my jaw up. It just kept making my jaw hurt. Um, I've got nerve damage to my face and head uh, from trauma in 2015. And every time I go near loud noises or really loud noises or... or electrical equipment, it, it, it sends like a pain down the side of my trigeminal nerve, down my face and down my neck as well. Nerve damage. I, it's, it's not something that can be cured, I just have to deal with it. Um, so, it's a shitty app, British Gas has got a shitty app, it's not worth anything. And I couldn't get it into, into it this morning. They were demanding my phone number. And I fucking freaked out. Because, I, I, you know, I don't want to have to keep going down the high street to the post office every couple of days to top up my meter. Because the electric is on a smart meter and I can top that on my phone. Top it up. But the gas, I can't. Because the gas isn't a smart meter. It's a shitty little meter that you have to take the card to certain shops and the co-op doesn't top up gas cards so i have to walk into the post office or certain shops that take the gas card which is a pain in the proverbial arse it's a pain in the bum i don't want to stand in long queues watching other people have hand out loads of money and I'm stuck there with £20 on my gas card, do I? But that's what I'm happy to keep doing. And that's what the government was trying to stop, um, gas companies making people change to, to um, 
pays your go meters because your electric just fucking goes off, doesn't it? When you don't expect it. So, you know, it's a, it, it's, it's a pain in the bottom, to be honest. It is a proverbial pain in the bottom. Especially when it's raining or it's snowing and your gas goes off or your electric and, oh, I've got to go out, I've got to go out, I've got to stand in long queues. Um, so I've, I've got shopping to last the weekend. I've topped my meter up. So that's all that matters. So, you know, I don't want to go shopping. I've had bad experiences shopping and it's put me off shopping. And maybe that's a good thing because I'm not cluttering my flat with shit, crap. That sh I come home and I buy a second hand bag and it breaks into bits. You know, I've paid £10 for a bag, I come home and it falls apart. At least I'm not doing that, am I? Do you know what I mean? Right, so I've had a shower. If a taxi does not turn up outside my address tomorrow, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not going. There's no money in my bank account to pay for a taxi or a bus or a train. So if a taxi does not turn up tomorrow and they tell and I don't get a taxi back home, then I'm not going. Because I said that I will go to have this procedure. I will go to have this procedure as long as I'm taken to the hospital and I've got transport back. And they agreed to that. And I haven't got it in writing, it was a telephone agreement. But if, it, if I don't get a taxi, I don't go. Because if it's that urgent, I should have hospital transport. Now I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of coffee and I'm going to have a snack, etc. I look after myself. And anyone that's with me, I'll defend them. I would defend them. Anyone that is with me, I would defend them. Right? This bullying is getting beyond a joke. I went out this afternoon, I took Max out for a walk, I will not be intimidated, and I don't care if you want to take the piss. I don't, want to, I don't care if you want to dress a dog in an orange, green, blue coat, whatever the colour my hair is, you dress it in whatever coat you like. Because I'm happy with myself, and that's the main thing. See you later. Thank you.